Hi guys, it is uh, Sunday, March 22nd at uh, 1.25 p.m. Um, this uh, tutorial shows how to create contours um, on uh, GeoScientist uh, objects, either grid, points, curves, or surfaces. Uh, so right now what you're seeing on my screen is, uh, is a 2D grid with uh, RTP, uh, magnetic RTP uh, data uh, gridded over the Mount Dory in, uh, in Australia. So what we'd like to do here is simply contour those, those values, uh, has them as curve in the analyst project. Um, and then at the end, I will show you how to export those as, uh, as shape files. Um, so at the bottom of uh, this video, uh, you, should, uh, you should see a, a downloadable link that will give you this folder here. And so if you open this folder, you'll have, um, you have two files. Um, one of them is for installation. So if you've never run any of the tutorials, uh, this will take you through, um, this will download and install all the open source packages that you need. And then we'll go inside the, uh, the next one after. Uh, so to start, uh, you will need, a, again, a Anaconda to be installed on your, on your system. So if you use the Windows button, you can start the Anaconda prompt like this. And I'll just navigate to uh, this folder. Okay. So now, now that I'm here, um, if you, if actually you, uh, you should probably update if you have not done it in a while. So you can just uh, simply uh, run the batch file uh, within this command prompt, and this will update everything that you need. I've already done it, so I'm not going to uh, proceed with that one. I'm simply going to move inside the tutorial folder here. So tutorial. And inside here, we have our list of uh, tutorials for the Python API, and we'll use five and, and then six uh, on, in this video. And so to start the, uh, the notebook, the Jupyter Notebook, simply type Jupyter Notebook, and then we're gonna start with tutorial five, so how to create contours. And you know, through this line, you will have a browser, web browser that will I will start like this. I'm just going to put side by side. So here I have my analyst project on the right, and I have uh, my notebook on the left. So all you need to do to be able to connect um, the Python API to the project is simply run uh, this cell here. And for those of you who are new to, um, to notebooks, you can either run the cell with the run button here or simply shift enter. So this what, uh, what this will do is connect, to, the, uh, connect to, to what's in the camera right now and you'll be able to select any of the objects. Uh, currently we only have one, so we only have the TMI grid here. Uh, but we, this TMI grid has two data, it has TMI and, and RTP. Uh, then this line here will allow you to draw any contours that you that you like. So there are two ways to three ways to do this: either key in exactly the contour that you that you want to see. So an example here is 150 pound Tesla, or you can uh, in, uh, include intervals. So let's say you want to do uh, from the contour 120 every 20 up to 200, and this will draw uh, this interval from 120 to 200 every 20 and you can add as many as you as you like since we do a 150 50 to 6000 so now we have fully contoured grid and in order to export those to analyst simply click on the on the button export to ga and now what i can do is refresh my project and all those contours exist as curves inside my my project now there's a second option here is to assign Z values. So if I click this, instead of being flat directly on the grid, it will assign the Z coordinates to the values of the grid. So if I do this again, and let's say I call this RTPZ, just so that we can differentiate it and export to GA. I can reopen. And now we have those contours with the Z, uh, Z values assigned to, assigned to it, which corresponds to the grid, the grid values. So you can imagine if you have topography, then uh, you would be able to, uh, to see the contours in, in three dimensions. 
So that that's done. So now um, some of them might be interested in uh, extracting, taking those curves and uh, taking them outside uh, into, let's say, uh, Arc, ArcGIS. And so we're going to open the tutorial number six that will uh, allow us to do this. So here, tutorial number six, same thing, shift enter to run the cell. Uh, I'm actually you want to connect to uh, not the original Mount Dory, but to, to the uh, the working working file, which is currently what is open here, Mount Dory work. So I'm just going to make sure I enter the right name for my project. Now you can see I have the three objects. So I have the original grid, and I have my two sets of contours. Okay, so I'm going to select this one. Um, it will assign data values uh, to each of the of the shape files, each of the of the curves, um, and then currently we only have two options of export: a shape file or XYZ. Um, here I'm just going to show you shape file. You can enter any PSG code if you wanted to, and then we'll uh, we'll save it as as is. When I click export, you'll see in your folder you now have a shape file that's called RTPZ shape. And just to show that it worked, I'm going to grab this shape file and bring it back in. And now we have an ESRI import. It's again the same same contours. Um, it's back to a zero at a zero elevation because uh, ESRI shape files don't support uh, Z channels. But uh, at least you you would be able to load this into your favorite. Uh, GIS software and, and, and work around the contours. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you again, if you have comments or suggestions, uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, my email will be at the bottom of this uh, of this video. Happy Sunday, everyone.